we're going to take those same concepts, stacked brace spine, torque in the hips, torque in the shoulders. We're going to apply it to the hip hinge, which is one of our shapes. Okay, so from the side, stack spine, brace it, torque in the shoulders, torque in the hips. To achieve um, a hip hinge, the ball and socket should be where the motion initiates from. So instead of coming from our spine, we're going to push our hips backwards. The dowel is going to glide down my hips until I achieve this L shape or I run into tension in my posterior chain. So for me, I hit tension right about here. That's my hip hinge. Okay, so from the front, I have a stacked spine. My suspenders are vertical. I have a brace spine. I'm creating torque in my shoulders by breaking the stick, and I'm creating torque in my hips by squeezing my glutes a lot. My feet are under my hips, about shoulder width, and my feet are parallel. Okay, so a great cue for hip hinging is that your hips should be driving backwards. So if you picture this dowel as a vertical reference point, I'm stacked, braced, torque in my shoulders, torque in my hips. My hip hinge drives my hips backwards. A lot of us want to stay in that vertical plane, and so we end up doing this rounded back thing. Hips backwards.